Hey guys, it's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. Hi to my subscribers, my patrons, my super thinkers, everyone who supports my channel. Welcome back. Listen, I love bad omens. I love them so much. Um, and I love them even though I've never heard a single full album from them, which is really sad. So obviously I know a couple of songs that I listen to nonstop that I know all the words to, but I think I just need to listen to the full album because I'm sure there are other songs on there that I'm going to be just as obsessed with. So I'm taking you through the whole Bad Omens album of The Death of Peace of Mind. Now, the song The Death of Peace of Mind has my heart. Oh, it's so good. Okay, this is a long ass album. No, you can't text me right now. I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay, fine. I'll respond. And just so you guys know, my video is glitching, so it doesn't affect the audio at all, but sometimes I'm just like, Meh. so <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, I'm so excited for this album. I know I shouldn't, I, I really don't have time to do a full album right now, but I'm doing it because I really need to listen to more of this album. Okay, so this is the first song. It is called Concrete Jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun games. That's literally where my mind went. Okay, and if you're new to my channel, I like to read the lyrics while I listen to new songs for the first time because I just like to get every word out of their mouths correct. Let's do this. Can you see us was really good oh my god his voice oh my god it's so good I just I'm like so obsessed with his voice and I'm gonna be honest I don't even know the names of the guys in this band like I have no idea Noah Nicholas Jolly and Nick okay Okay, so the idea to form Bad Omens came in 2013 when Noah began secretly writing lyrics and also performing guitar duties for a Washington, D.C. band named Immoralist. Noah departed from his former band with Bad Omens in sight, okay? 
added a couple of friends. Uh, they moved out of their homes in Sweden. Sweden? That's amazing. This is a Swedish rock band. Okay. The band name Bad Omens was originally supposed to be the title of one of their early songs, which ended up becoming known as Glass Houses. So Noah's the lead vocalist. Noah's voice is literally rock heaven to me. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, he makes me melt. I'm not gonna lie. Um, according to Noah, Concrete Jungle sets the stage for the death of peace of mind, both conceptually and musically, with lyrical callbacks to previous albums used in past tense. Well, that's not helpful for me. Uh, and, it, and a continuous increase in dynamic range and intensity from start to finish, 100%, paints a picture in sound of the dystopian world this album takes place in and pulls you into the center of it. Okay. It discusses the harsh realities and examples the real world sets for us every day that we allow money, social class, media, and fame to divide us in near inhuman ways. How we work our fingers to the bone for little to nothing in exchange, and they tell us to thank them for it. Then the song ends with an acknowledgement and acceptance of this reality as a result of the cards you were dealt and finding your power in it. Damn. Now that's a song description. This song is absolutely so good it was a little more simplistic at the beginning and then the build it just kept building and that's what i loved and then when he just like lost his shit oh my god i just love how the chorus has got heavier too so good this album is gonna be sick okay let's listen to nowhere to go i feel like i might know this song but it's okay a lot of subscribers always say ash just listen to the song even if you know it already so feel free to skip there are chapters in this video if you don't want to watch me sing along to some songs on this album. Okay, I know this song very well. I love it very much, but I just want to go through the lyrics because I'm sure I've been I've been singing them wrong. Who knows? singing the lyrics wrong I literally thought he said last time we made a pact and I can't remember how I sang yours dried out but I know I wasn't singing that but this makes way more sense that it's blood signed we made a pact got it <laughs>
feel like I listen to the song like at least once a day. Um, listen, and because I've been listening to the song like once a day, it literally sounds like a Hoobastank song. Do you guys remember Hoobastank? Let me go find out what song it reminds me of. You guys tell me if this sounds um, similar, but like I instantly got Hoobastank vibes the first time I heard the song. So this song is called Same Direction. I should probably turn it up. Be more than one road to our final destination. But I'm not ever gonna know if I'm right or wrong. Cause we're all going in the same direction. And I'm not sure which way to go. Because all along we've been going in the same direction. Weird. I just got Hoobastank vibes from the song, and that's not a bad thing because I love Hoobastank. <laughs> okay, let's listen to the next song. Okay, this song is called Take Me First. I don't think I've ever heard it before. It's too late to turn back now. Oh God, I tried, but I don't know how. I wonder if that's like considered a slow song for them because <laughs> I'm here for it. That was a really good song. Like lyrically, this band is amazing. Like, holy. And like, I don't know. It's just like the softness of his voice and the heaviness of the music. It's just so sick together. Like, man, the band is so good. And like Noah's voice is just crazy. Like I can't even deal. Okay, so it's been about two weeks since I reacted to the Death of Peace of Mind, uh, the music video. So I feel like it's just it just makes sense for us to skip the song. Um, but yeah, obviously that's the best song. I'm going to say it's the best song on this album. And I'm going to say it now before hearing the rest of the album. But that song is so sick. It's so good. Okay, let's go uh, into the next song and I'll make sure I link my reaction to the death of peace of mind if you guys want to check it out so the song is called what it cost
dead. I'm dead. How dare you? Okay, obviously I know the song Like a Villain. It is such a great song. I am so obsessed. We're going to get into it because I know it comes up next, but I don't get to say this often, but one of my favorite things, and not a lot of artists do it, is when they use the same melody and lyrics in one song and then have it in another song. It's like kind of a playoff songs. It's like an intro to that song or like a sneak peek to that song. Guys, I can't deal. I love that song so much. What it cost is sick. I love that it's like a pre-introduction to Like a Villain. I'm gonna die. Okay, let's listen to Like a Villain even though I already know it, but let's just jam away. <laughs> so good. did these two songs together. Oh my god. Like, if you don't like that song, we can't be friends. That song is absolutely insane. That's, like, another song I've been listening to, like, every day nonstop. Like, the bass in these songs are insane when I drive. Like, my whole Jeep just rattles in the best way. Like, I have a good sound system, so don't worry. But, oh, my God, his voice. I'm, like, obsessed with this band. Like, I'm obsessed I don't know how else to put it, guys. I don't even, like, I don't even know. I need to watch something live from them. They were here, like, not too long ago in Toronto, and I missed it. And I was okay with it because I obviously don't know a lot of their songs, and I don't want to go to a show and not know songs that I know I will just love even more if I listen to them, learn them, and then see them. It's more magical when you're, like, in the crowd with everybody than just, like, this is a fun song. <laughs> but don't get me wrong. I have done that with bands. Like I've seen Ginger live and I only know like, I only knew like what, three songs, but it was so good. And I found some great songs out of that live show to kind of follow up on. But still, this one is going to be a big show for me because like they're becoming one of my favorite bands. Like I can't deal with this album. I'm, I don't think there's going to be a bad song on this album. I'm losing my shit right now. I hope you guys are okay with me just dancing to everything. Okay, this song is called Bad Decisions. Quick it 
gets lonely here at the top Her skin feels unholy but I'm still drunk The morals I'm holding, you know they're gone No God, no religion Just bad, bad decisions No God, no religion Just bad, bad decisions Chills. No God, no religion. Just bad, bad decisions. No God, no religion. Just bad, bad decisions. actually surprised they have a slow song like I was not expecting that and I absolutely loved it not sure which guy from the band is singing um but his voice is lovely it's very deep and it goes very well with Noah's when they harmonize it, that's a beautiful sounding song and the lyrics are pretty cute at the same time it's like you know they're just making bad decisions <laughs> Okay, the next song is Just Pretend. Listen, okay, this song is everything. It is so good. It's just like one of those rock and roll songs you go to a show to and you just scream the lyrics back at the singer. Like you want you want him you want it to feel like he's singing them to you. This song this whole album is just sexy. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not afraid of the war. Okay, I want to pause here for a second because like when I first heard this song, I thought the lyrics were I can wait for you at the bottle. I can stay awake if you want me to. Then I can wait for years if I gotta. Heaven knows I ain't getting over you. And then <laughs> I'm reading the lyrics now. And like, yeah, I corrected myself over listening to the song a zillion times. He says, I can wait for you at the bottom. And I can stay away if you want me to. <sighs> Thank God for lyrics. Remember back in the day when we had to like write down the lyrics and press play and pause? Like that's what I used to do to like figure out what the lyrics to a song were. Good times. I know the pain that you hide behind the smile on your face And not a day goes by where I don't think I feel the same Sex 
sexiest voice in rock. And the bridge. The bridge. I hope I'm not annoying you guys with the amount of talking I'm doing in this song. But when I first heard this bridge, I like melted. with the drums. I just can't deal with how good this fucking song is. could have not ended any other way. Perfection. That song is absolute perfection. Fuck. I can't deal. Okay, so Noah said he's, um, I'm not proud to admit this song kind of started off ironically being the arrogant person I am. I was trying to prove a point of how easy it is to write modern active rock music suitable for radio because it all sounds the same to me. Boring as shit. So I made this little guitar track in loop, freestyled some melody ideas with obnoxious, deliberate, macho cadence. And by the time I finished the chorus, I realized the song had potential to actually be really sick. So I started taking it more seriously. Uh, from then, jo uh, jo is it Joachim? or Joachim, I don't know. And I started working on it together for a couple days and it ultimately became what it is now. A song I'm very happy with and proud of. It means a lot to me. I did not learn my lesson and I will continue to write songs out of spite. Bro, that is so sick. I love that. He's like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just make a stupid song. And then he's like, shit, this stupid song is turning into a sick song. I love it so much. Guys, I'm so obsessed with this band. It's actually scary. This song is called The Grey. Never heard it. I'm so happy I get to listen to this whole album now on shuffle.
Whoever hurt this man. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That's a great song, too. Okay, this song is called Who Are You? I love this, like, new age heavy metal. Like, I love it so much. Ugh. like Lincoln Park vibes, you know? Probably not my favorite song off the album. A little repetitive, but the beat is so good. Like, you just can't help but vibe to that song. I'm like, oh my god. Okay, this song is called Somebody Else. I don't want your body, but I hate to think about you with somebody else. It happens. this was produced it sounds so beautiful and eerie like I love it
that was a sick outro. I would listen to that so loud in my car. I don't care if it's a slow song or not. That bass was sick. Okay, so this is my conclusion. And we're not even done the album. It's like if The Weeknd went heavy metal, like new age heavy metal. He reminds me, like his voice reminds me of The Weeknd. Interesting. Maybe not in like every song, but that song, definitely. Okay, this song is called IDWT Money Sign. I don't know what that means. I'm sure we'll find out. You break your red. gonna stop quickly <sighs> the amount of like different elements that were like going on in this song it just all sounded so wonderful like obviously I have noise canceling headphones on if you can't tell but like it just sounded so good and I'm so glad that's the first time I heard that song through like really good headphones instead of just listening to it like on my my echo like ah oh, that's a sick song Okay, this song is called What Do You Want From Me? <laughs> what do you want from me? What was that? Wasn't that Adam Lambert? What do you want from me? I'm such a weirdo.
crazy. Yeah, that really that really did remind me of Rob Zombie a lot. Okay, this song is called Artificial Suicide. I don't know if I know this one. than I ever expected them to go and I dig it. It was very corn like you know <laughs> Wow I wonder like what they listen to. I wonder if they listen to Rob Zombie and corn like just curious maybe some the weekend too guys this album is everywhere and I'm obsessed. okay this is the last song and it's called Miracle. <laughs> Sorry, but I just got, I have to say this. Okay, I've just started listening to Nothing But Thieves. And I, I, the, the way I notice that I'm starting to like love a band is when I hear other songs that might sound like a band I like. And this song literally sounds like a Nothing But Thieves song. And I was like, oh my God, I'm a Nothing But Thieves fan. It's happened. <laughs> All right, let's start it over. But it sounds like, um, what is that, Phobia? And I can use some healing too. Is that phobia? Yeah, it's phobia. Oh my god, I'm getting so good. Okay, sorry. That literally sounds like bam bam bam.
waiting for that scream to happen and I'm so glad it did but that's how the album ended I am I'm obsessed okay can we just talk about this for a second I think I'm I'm, I'm obsessed with this band I love every song on this album obviously there are more that I love than others but like how am I just like finding out about this band I need to go to my Spotify and find out when I started listening to Bad Omens. Okay, so May 26th, 2003 is the first time I heard Bad Omens and it was the song Just Pretend, which makes sense. Then in June, the following month, I listened to Like a Villain. And then I never heard The Death of Peace of Mind until September. So I've literally listened to three Bad Omens songs. That's so sad. <laughs> so sad and I don't even know like their other albums I've never I don't think I've listened to anything else yeah I need to listen to more of this band they are they are definitely going to come back to Toronto like at some point so uh, I need to be on my A game I need to be a mega super super fan because this band is phenomenal like the band itself the singer the melodies the the way they remix it the way they add so many different elements into their music it just gives me like New Age Linkin Park vibes, amazing vocals, a lot of like different, you know, there's violins, there's fucking turntables, there's just so much shit going on and it all sounds like perfection. Okay, I'm not making this video any longer than it is. I just want you to know I'm a really big fan of Bad Omens. And if they're watching this, I'm obsessed with you and I'll see you in Toronto when you come. And if you could get me a ticket, that would be great because I'll be going alone and that's going to be sad. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this reaction, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, to turn your notifications on. That helps my channel more than you know it. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. Follow me on TikTok, you can. And I do have a Patreon if you want to support my channel. Most of my videos are unmonetizable, so I make nothing. So if you want to go over there and support me, you can. Also, there is a free layer you can check out as well where I do a lot of polls and stuff. So go over to patreon.com. If you want to chat with me on Discord about Bad Omens, about any artist, feel free to join my Discord. The link is in the description. Sometimes I pop on the voice channel and just sit there and sing to myself while I'm working. So feel free to pop in and say hello um, or just join one of the many, many chat channels that I have there. My vinyl of the day. It's not gray wind. <laughs> it's City in Color, Bring Me Your Love. Um, and it's a phenomenal, I gotta hide my silk screen poster, but I'm just so scared to ruin it. So if you don't know who gray wind is, go check them out. City in Color, Bring Me Your Love. Beautiful acoustic singer, songwriter, Canadian, epic voice, epic sound, just beautiful. If you want some chill vibes, check out City in Color. If you don't want chill vibes and you want more of this kind of thing, check out his other band, Alexa's on Fire. Thank you guys so much for watching this long ass video. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, because I did cut out a lot uh, for the length for YouTube, you can go over to Patreon and check it out there. See you guys soon.